What is the most efficient, cost-effective, and reliable method to predict the survival of flatfish discarded from commercial fishing boats? This research project is the first time that RAMP is being applied to European flatfish. This video illustrates the complete methodology developed by the Eelville researchers for a baseline study. Because in the context of this, this research, it is really important to be able to precisely characterize the condition of the fish because the survival will be influenced by quite an array of factors. I can you know, look at the, uh, the type of gear a beam trawler is using, how he's operating, the type of environment, uh, the temperature, the catch volume, whether all of these things are inducing stress for the fish. But it is important to know what effect it has and, and what condition it is. And so by having a number of reflexes, you are able to precisely describe the condition. Reflexes are the key to this method. Each reflex is assigned a score of zero if it is strong and clearly visible, and scored as one if it is not visible, weak, or unclear within five seconds of observation. Now by testing different kind of reflexes, you are also covering your whole body response spectrum a little bit. And that way you will possibly pick up if a fish is not very healthy and if the fish is really stressed, it won't respond in this kind of fixed action pattern. Ilvo researchers have already validated the following reflex tests on healthy place and soul. First is the so-called belly bend reflex. Hold the fish outside the water on the palm of your hand with its belly side facing up. The normal reaction of a healthy place is to flex so that its head and tail come closer together. The second reflex is the writing reflex. Hold the fish on its back at the surface and then release it. A healthy flat fish will actively write itself. For the head reflex, hold the fish outside the water Grasp its head firmly between your thumb and index finger. A strong head reflex is when the fish curls its tail around your fingers using either flexion or extension. To test the evasion reflex, hold the fish at the surface and gently release it into the water. A healthy fish will swim away quickly without drifting. After evading a potential predator, the fish reaches the bottom and then uses the stabilized reflex of its fins. This reflex movement digs the fish into the sediment, camouflaging it. To test the tail grab reflex, gently hold the tail between your thumb and index finger. A normal tail grab response is when the fish struggles, frees itself quickly, and swims away. The most difficult reflex to see is the eye roll. To test the eye roll reflex, hold the fish's head between your hands and roll it along its longitudinal axis. This test is called the eye roll, but in fact the eyes remain stable and the body rolls around the eyes as they remain oriented towards the horizon. To test the mouth reflex, use a blunt object like a pencil to try to open the mouth of the flatfish while gently but firmly restraining the fish. A vital individual will try to close its mouth tightly after it's opened, or you will feel resistance to the attempt to open the mouth. The operculum reflex is a similar process. Gently but firmly restrain the fish while trying to open the operculum using a blunt object. A healthy fish will at least try to clamp the operculum shut and may also demonstrate the evasion reflex. To date, only place and soul have been tested for their species-specific reflex responses. Healthy, non-stressed place and soul respond similarly to seven of the nine candidate ramp reflexes. But two reflexes are different between the two species, the belly bend and the head reflex. A healthy soul will not show the belly bend reaction. For the head reflex, it's the other way around. A healthy place will show no head reflex at all. At the end of 2014, Ilvo has already shown that all of these candidate reflexes give consistent and clear responses in place and soul with the two reflexes that differ according to species. Now the search for strong correlations can begin. Correlations between the observed reflex responses 
and the survival of a large number of discarded fish. ILVO will keep you informed of new developments.